previously on Persona 5 Strikers. Are you ready? <gasps> oh, God damn it, did I just ask him no? Why do I ask him no? Hold on, my guy. Let me finish watching this episode of Dr. Phil. You, you need a job. No, I don't want it. Well, Damn, Dr. Phil, you always know the right thing to say. Yeah, there's no point in talking to you. you, you know just might as well leave. Oh, shit. Smoke that, bitch. No, stop shit. Talking. Fuck. Stop talking. Stop talking. You should know better than talk back to the dot. And now back to... Summer Vacation with the Phantom Thing! Hello! Sniggo B. Back with some more Persona 5 Strikers. When we last left off, we murdered the crap out of Ango. He's freaking dead. And now the city is saved. We turn into the murder thieves. We're going to steal your heart literally out of your body and leave you lying dead. Empty husk on the ground. Just as you deserve, you piece of shit. Savage man. <laughs> That's how Persona 6 will go, all right? It'll be like, we're, like, we're just going to kick shit up a notch, all right? We're the heroes, but we also straight murder people. Let's go. But it was good. I, I, I did like the... Uh, the dungeon itself, they had some nice, uh, some nice little puzzles and, uh, exploring and fighting and, uh, had some nice themes too. I, I did enjoy the, the look into the creative process and Yusuke's talk about how isolating it can be. And I, I, it, it was very interesting. Really was kind of a, a great moment, I think, for Yusuke. And looking at the comments, I saw a lot of you guys actually talking about it. Um, it was really interesting to see so many of you guys get, like, feel like this really sort of hit a note for you, you know, like a lot of you guys were describing like your own experiences and how this sort of, uh, sort of captivated you as well. And it was interesting. I, I saw someone though, uh, by the name of Viva La Glavi, who last episode said, uh, as an aspiring artist and writer, I have to say that, holy shit, do some of these commenters type fast. I was planning on writing my own essay on how this part of the story affected me, but honestly, you could just look at the comments to see how I feel because we all feel the same. Instead, let me speak of something else. It feels amazing knowing that I'm not alone in my feelings and aspirations, that there are others here who felt the same way when they went through this chapter, and that this community is filled with so many who aren't artists and writers, but are willing to be kind to the doubtless numerous number of comments saying how this chapter affected them. It's for that reason that I love the Picky Penguins and Nico, and that unrivaled support for one another we have. Now, with that being said, I finally finished Nico's uh, Spirit of Justice playthrough, so I'm off. Uh, Viva, Viva, thank you so much. That was a very sweet comment. And yeah, there were uh, quite a few comments, uh, though, just talking about how, like, you know, people felt really kind of bad for Ango at the end and can sort of sympathize with this plight. And it kind of showed me, too, just how much, how many people in my community are sort of creative minded, you know, like they just love making stuff, right? Whether it be writing stories or making artwork or making videos or whatever, whatever kind of content, you just like making stuff and making something out of nothing. And it's the creative process that comes with that. So I feel very privileged to have such a, uh, such a strong community of creative and just kind people. So uh, Viva La, thank you so much for honestly really hitting the nail on the head and just pointing out just what a great community this is and also just for your kind words in general. And it is for that reason that you are comment of the day. By the way, another thing you guys point out to me, sort of funnily enough, was that uh, Ango and Asume is actually technically based off of two famous Japanese authors, Ango Saka, Sakaguchi and Asume Saseki. And what do you know? Freaking Saseki from uh, The Great Ace Attorney is also mentioned in this. And there you go. See, there you go. We always got to find all those links that show up in all my LPs, right? It always happens. Every time I, I'm, I'm dual playing two games, it's always something that ends up referencing the other game. Some loose connection, but it's there. It's fucking there. And it's absolutely intentional and totally not some random thing that just seems to happen every time. Absolutely planned out. Yep. Yep. All right. Uh, and when I was asking before about like, wait, Zoo was the first that believed in Ongo. What, what they were trying to say was that Ongo was the only one that believed in himself, right? He's saying Ango believed in Ango. So like, well, I guess somebody believes in him. Ha ha. That's what they meant. Gotcha. Okay. Sorry. I, I didn't, wasn't keeping up with that. But all right. I guess we're, uh, we're done with Sendai now. Uh, it's nice that it does seem to give me uh, one last chance to run around the city and I guess, uh, do a last bit of shopping. Although I'm thinking that Whoa, probably would thing. be able to finish all my requests because my party members aren't out and about. And some of the requests I got were like involving them. So if they're, if they're already like in the van, uh, it's probably, you're probably too late by this point, but it is nice to at least just give you a chance to grab any maybe remaining recipes he hadn't gotten to this point. All right, I did get a, uh, a new thing for my bond here. Avenger. Evading an enemy attack and grant a counter attack. Grant skill. Damn, sick. I was seeing people in the comments say this move is actually exceptionally good. And in fact, it can actually work with uh, moves that make you auto dodge too. 
uh, like the further along you go. So things like Masukaja get like really fucking good. So, ooh, all right. Counter. Perfect counter. If you evade it and it, oh my God, seriously, we got a perfect dodge. If you evade an attack with perfect timing, you will counterattack that enemy with a skill of your current persona's affinity. Though risky to attempt, you will get a huge advantage if you can strike your foe's weakness. That's awesome. Oh, can flinch enemies. Wow. Ooh, this got some depth to it. Uh, all right, I think I'm gonna save from, for any more. Oh, shit. Oh, shit, that, uh, that lonely dude is gone. I guess he died. Oh, well. Oh, shit. Damn. I'm gonna miss you, oh, shit guy. So Shibuya had the, uh, the Rilla guy, and Sendai had the, oh, shit. Yeah, guy. Wonder what the next city will bring us. God, I, I just can't wait. Before I leave, let's buy some pineapple. And I'm betting for some for some reason, all the healing arms are getting progressively more powerful as they go on. It's almost like, what if I just hopped straight to the end city? Just gone there for my shopping instead and got a holy boatload of super powerful healing items. But now it'll be any fun, right? Make sure not to spend all my money, though, because I do want to save some money for the new area. Don't make that same mistake again. But hold on, I do gotta grab the, uh, the Big Bang special here, which is like, it's like the only place to get this. Yeah, limited edition, Gyutam Patty, Matara Kaja effect. I wonder if it's a, an extended one. It does seem like the 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 debuffs and the buffs that you get from your combo attacks are insanely short, right? Like so short. Like it, I initially thought it seemed like it's really really good, and I and probably still is, but like it only lasts for like five seconds. So it just seems sort of feel like it. In order to really make the most of it, I have to basically just be spamming the same combo attack again and again and again with like Yusuke or. Uh, uh, Lady on with like her uh, her debuff attack move. So I don't know how how much in the long run that is really going to be helping me. I might just be better off doing the uh, the ones that actually cost SP. Although I, I don't actually know how long those last, but definitely longer than five seconds. Something more we can do now. She waited at the hide on in case you reached out. You should go to bed. Hey, shut the hell up. All right, just because past midnight and shit, and I just went through a bloody epic battle and could use the rest. Doesn't mean I need to go to sleep, Morgana. You shut your oh, stupid man, face! You? Damn, I can't buy another Zuda Supreme. Heals your entire party all the way and raises their level to 99. But then you go and give it to Lady On. Damn it! Ah, it would actually be really fucking funny if the description actually said that. Like, it made you super buff and insane. But you can't actually use it. You can only use it for the fucking quest and give it to On. Just to fuck with you. Like, god damn piece of shit. Fuck you, Lady On! You and your insatiable sweet tooth. Can't even get my fortune told. Damn it. This sucks. I'm getting out of here. Fuck you, Sendai. And your one statue. That's it. That's all you got. Nothing else. After some time, Zenkichi came to the hideout. And that about sums up Natsume's confession. He's like, well, yes, I did actually brainwash a whole bunch of people and murder a few others. Thank you for asking. So once people friended him through Emma, they'd become his fans. It's just like what Alice said. And Natsume's smartphone worked the same as Alice's, too. There wasn't anything off about the Emma app or the phone itself. So we got nothing again? I didn't say that. Just like before, there were traces of someone snooping around in there. For real? For oh, real? Same as Alice. Did Asumi have a stalker too? What does it all mean? They have a stalker too? No, I'd say this confirms that we're dealing with something much bigger than a stalker. So the same occurred with Natsume's phone as well. Well, any idea who it is? Sorry, I got nothing. All I found were traces. So Alice and Natsume were being watched by someone. She's like, it's too early in the game, guys. Come on, it's just the second dungeon. You really think I'm gonna figure this shit out now? Hey, Zenkichi, did the police know about that? No. The only reason we know this guy exists is because Sakura sifted through Alice's smartphone. So aside from the fact that they both used Emma, this mystery observer is the only thing linking Alice and Natsume together. If the police didn't know that, why would they assume these two cases are related? Well, these are some very peculiar cases. But mainly, it boils down to the nature of the crimes and the timing. The timing? All of the change of heart incidents occurred at roughly the same time, that being within the last three months. Didn't I tell you? Three months ago is around when Emma was released. 
Well, Emma is being used to perpetrate the crimes, so that makes sense. I mean, can we like talk to Apple or something? <laughs> hey guys, you realize you're uh, creating an app that can send you to another universe that also perpetuates your desires and causes you to steal and everybody else's and not become a monarch and rule the world? Did ya? You did? Oh, well, cool. Steve Jobs would be so proud. Uh, cause someone be exploiting it. The, the group behind it seems very shady, I think. Damn right it does. No duh, asshole. That company putting that thing out is suspicious as all hell. What are they called again? Madams? Madis. Well, at least you got the mad part. For what it's worth, I'm investigating on that front as well. Still, we're talking about a major corporation operating on a global scale. You can't just walk in and start poking around without reason. Why not? I do it all the time. Have you found anything suspicious yet? Not yet. No. At least. Nothing's come up from checking the individuals involved. If our mystery observer was connected to Medis, though, then we'd have grounds to conduct an investigation. Hmm. Do you think there's someone pulling the strings in this case? There always is. There's always a Shido. It's always a weird, creepy, bald-headed, goatee-wearing fellow that's running everything behind the scene that's saying, Damn, brat, I'll sue! You don't know for sure yet. The incidents are similar, but they could just as easily be unrelated. Guess we'll have to see if the other incidents have any overlap as well. That's one of the basic rules of investigation. Find what the incidents do and don't have in common, then start narrowing things down. For now, looking into the other incidents is our best bet at scoring a lead. This is true. We'll have to do what we can for the time being. Seriously, I still don't really understand why we can't just go to the damn corporation that's making this shit. I'm like, well, we just can't walk in there. You're the fucking cops and the FBI and, or whatever. You just be like, yeah, uh, what are you doing and why? Show us the Krabby Patty secret formula right now. And if we look into the other jails and their monarchs, we might learn something new. Then, if we're all done here, I'm heading to Sapporo to see what I can find at our next target. We'll rendezvous on the 8th. I'll contact you the day of. I said three days. Three days? Should be an easy trip with a car. No need to rush. The target's not even in Japan until then. Oh, right. Wasn't there a festival happening around here soon? <gasps> a festival? That sounds like fan service to me. Sendai's famous for its Tanabata festivals. Lots of good food lined up, too. Or so I hear. Yes, I did see decorations being put up here and there. Anyway, I'll see you in three days. Don't forget. I guess he wants us to rest up while we can. Gramps is actually a pretty considerate guy, huh? Well, since we're here, should we put on Yukata and go to the festival? <laughs> Yukata. Uh, I can't help but think of our disastrous fireworks festival last year when we got rained on. That's why we're gonna do it right this time. Besides, we didn't have Futaba or Haru with us back then. Yeah. Count me in. Going to a festival in Yukata sounds wonderful. We hadn't acquired those party members yet. Let's do it. I can't wait. I'll wear one too. Then we got a plan. Sophia, find us a shop that sells Yukata. I'm going fucking commando underneath this thing, all right? I want you guys to know that. I've got four hits. Allow me to direct you. Bond. Very tiny Bond. Man, we only got like two more days after this. We're gonna have enough time for another dungeon? Dude, check out all the boots! Holy sh- Oh my god, he's got a fucking Power Ranger mask and it's got a chicken on it. As one might expect from Sendai's Tanabata Festival. Ooh, I like Yusuke's. Yusuke's, uh, uh, Yukata. That's pretty cool too. I like- It's very, very mature. Very big boy looking. Actually, now I think about it, he's just got shorts on too. And not the full, like, wraparound. Apparently, the locals call it tanabata -san. And it's said to have originated from back in Date Masamune's time. Hey, that's the dude from the statue, huh? He is not a dude. <laughs> he's Lord Date Masamune, the one I drag in a ocean. Dude, he's a dude, dude. You're a dude too, dude. Dude, dude. Jeez, what are you, his retainer or something? Yes. Oh, there are so many booths. It's hard to pick what to see first. What do you think? I don't know, Bugana, but if you keep scratching me, I swear to God, I will put you in the deep fryer. I will do it. Yeah, yes, no! Let's try a shooting gallery. Why don't you get the mask? 
I like mass. Pulling them off other people. Yes. Perhaps it's our experience with them in the metaverse, but they always manage to catch <laughs> I'm just gonna hop over to the mask smooth guy's like, hey there, was like a mask? Sir? It looks around, I'm gone. Suddenly I'm, I'm on top of his head and I'm like, now to reveal your true form. Ah! Oh my god! Ah! Oh, I'm fine. Telling me. I already bought one. Reminds me of when I was a kid. Speaking of which, ain't those guys here yet? It takes time for a lady to get ready. They're not unrefined apes like the rest of you. At least we ain't a fucking simp like you, Morgana. <laughs> oh God, Harry's here! Who are you calling an ape? You're the unrefined one, you furball. Look, this furball's got claws, you bonehead. Sorry for the wait. <laughs> Cute. Ladies look lovely. Everyone's color coded here. Seriously, everyone's got like their primary color. On her red, Futaba her green, Haru her kind of pinkish, and uh, Makoto her dark blue. <gasps> Lady On, you look absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> Thanks, Morgana. Sorry, tying the Obi took quite some time. Obi Wan taught me how to tie mine. <laughs> That's just an Obi joke, you know. We like to have fun here. Uh, it's fitting for the summer. It was worth the wait. Can I get a close? I don't, I don't want to be pervy. I'll say it was worth the wait. I'll be a good boy. Thanks. It means a lot hearing that from you. <laughs> I, I don't want to gross out the girls, all right? I got a close to look? Who says that and why? What terrible human being would, would pick that option? What terrible degenerate human being? And I'll never go back! Absolutely picturesque. You've brought us a much needed air of refinement. Yeah. According to someone, we're about as unrefined as it gets. Wow, Ryuji, that looks really good on you. Even better than your school uniform. You don't gotta try and make me feel better. You made a good choice with that mask, though. Yellow's a good match for this season. I bought a water balloon myself. You gotta get one when you go to a festival. Interesting. Really? You gotta buy a water balloon? <laughs> Seriously? And you just carry it around with you? What do you do with it? Is it is I guess it's like a fancy water balloon. What do you, yeah, what do you do with it? Eventually it's gonna leak out or something, right? Does it stay like that? Do you hang it up? I have very, I have many questions. Water balloon? Oh, you mean a yo-yo? No, isn't that called a water yo-yo? Oh, we can even talk about it? Uh wait a sec. I thought it was yo-yo balloon. I thought it was a yo-yo your -yo -yo mama. Oh! No, it's a water balloon. It's just a fucking water balloon. Smash this in the head with it. What do you call it? I call it big booty bitch. Water balloon. Yo-yo. Water yo-yo. Yo-yo balloon boy. See, told you. Water balloons and yo-yos are two totally different things. So it's got to be a yo-yo balloon. <laughs> Looks like everyone's having a good time. Having a good time. We should have a little fun ourselves. Why don't we check out the food stands and get something to eat? Ah, uh, this looks like fun. I want to go to this. Uh, sure. I was starting to get hungry since everything smells so good. Look, they've got all the staples. Yaki soba, yakitori, shaved ice. They've even got cognac skewers. Those are huge in Toho. Every type of yaki you could possibly imagine. Tama's goofy we walk. Be too. I'm starving. Hell yeah. Let's start from one end and get one of everything. It feels as if we're forgetting the spirit of Tanabata. Though I have no objections. I want to see more of the festival too. Show me how to catch both things. Nico! Alright. It's gonna look weird though. I'm holding my phone while trying to do this. I have fun with everyone at the festival. Uh, oh, come on, you assholes! Bond harder with me, damn it! Cognac skewers, Ishinomaki yakisoba, Zunda cider. We basically ate our way through Sendai. And it was amazing. Gotta hand it to old man Masmune. He is one cool dude. He knows how to party it up. That's Lord to you. Did I do it right, Yusuke? Lord. Am I that predictable? <laughs> How'd you know I was gonna say that? Catching goldfish seems difficult. Is there some sort of secret to catching one? Yeah, I just stick my whole head in there and grab it with my teeth. Try to stay calm. 
then strike without hesitation. Trick is to catch them once you've read their movements. So you like fish the goldfish out. Do you take it home with you or do you put it back? Also, wait a minute. How do you fish a goldfish out? They actually, their little mouths can actually hit like wrap around a, a hook or something. I actually feel kind of bad. They're like, they're so tiny. Like, could they really grab a, grab a little hook like that? I guess, I guess it could, right? But at the same time, I also feel kind of bad. I don't want to like, put a hole through their mouth and throw them back in to a little tiny fishy. But maybe you do, maybe you, I don't know, man. I love Japanese culture. There's also so much of it I don't know and I don't understand. Wow, that's impressive, Mako-chan. I see. We'll get it next time. It's because you fucked it up, all right? You are scaring the fish, Sophie. Oh, God damn it. Oh, I thought you were sending me more porn. I was about to be pissed. Yo, you guys having fun? No worries. We are. How about you? Just working. Moderately, anyway. Listen, I wanted to ask you guys a favor. I'm already investigating in Sapporo, but before you leave Sendai, I'd like you to stop by Toho University. Toho? Isn't that where they invented shmups? Tomorrow, there's going to be a session at the Mount Alba campus. Session? So they're going to jam? You want to slam? Not that kind of session. <laughs> no, you idiot. The CEO of Matisse is holding a lecture there. I'm still looking into them at the moment, but the more info we have, the better. I'd like you to attend the lecture in my place. All right. What's in it for us? I'll treat you guys to dinner or something. The food in Hokkaido is really something special, you know? And just so we're clear, don't draw any unnecessary attention to yourselves. Just go and see if the CEO says anything strange. All right, I'm going to wear my yukata there. Please don't. What else can you tell us? Do you have a name? His name is Akira Konoe. And he looks like a capable CEO. I'll give him that. Uh, Akira? That used to be my name. Anyway, I'm going to be counting on you kids. And again, try not to get carried away. All right? So what did he want? I told everyone about Zenkichi's call. Blah, 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 blah. blah, blah. I do while fainting myself. I want to get this straight. This guy's running the company that made Emma? This might be a good opportunity to learn something new. Hmm. I suppose we'll find out at the lecture tomorrow morning. Guess break time's over. Time to get back to work. Back to work! I guess we are. I guess we're just going to Saburo like right after this. Because it seems like we're not going to have enough time to squeeze into something else. I wouldn't think. As you all know, life is just an ongoing series of daily decisions. Unless it's this guy right now. Oh my god, look, it's not fucking Mark Zuckerberg or Steve Jobs or, or any of these other guys. Wow, this is a very Japanese looking building. What's for breakfast? What should I wear today? Every day begins with these insignificant little dilemmas. Every day is great at your Junez. But then there comes a time to decide your field of study, your place of employment, who you're going to marry. And it's these choices that matter. Yes, people are always looking for the best choice or the correct answer. Madis seeks to provide it for everyone through the power of AI. Emma is a state-of-the-art AI designed to integrate itself into our everyday lives by gathering and analyzing extraordinary amounts of data with perfect precision. Emma can help everyone make the best choices. And selling all that information to the Russians. Capable CEO seems pretty spot on. Wow, he's so composed. He's practically overflowing with confidence. Look how clearly he states his company's outlook and principles. He's got everyone's attention. He's making my hair even fluffier than usual. You're right. He's not saying anything particularly suspicious though. Well, thanks to Emma, Adisa's stocks have shot way up. You can bet they're one of Japan's biggest enterprises right now. That said, I feel like a company with this much going for it wouldn't have much to gain from changing people's hearts. Perhaps, but that doesn't change the fact that Emma is still a key factor in the jails. It's through Emma that people are allowed access. Right. Madis is connected to all of this one way or another, be it directly or indirectly. Hey, do you think there's a real culprit behind all of this? Some kind of mastermind? I do. Because there always is. We gotta have a final boss. Or a faux final boss till we have to fight and dethrone God. Uh, I'm not sure. What do you think, Morgana? 
I think there is. Even if we beat the monarchs, change their hearts, and free everyone's desires, the jails don't disappear. Ah, right, well, in that case, I don't think there is one. You're just trying to say the opposite of mine! That's because you're always wrong, Morgana. We know this. There's got to be something keeping them here. So you're saying the real culprit's the one doing that? I don't know. But do you remember how even the monarchs themselves didn't know much about Emma? That's right. Alice and Natsume said the same things in their testimonies. And if that's the case, then the monarchs might not be the only ones manipulating Emma. Which means it could be someone at Medis. Or our mystery observer. Or our head honcho down there. Or perhaps someone completely different. Yeah, well, we just gotta stick to what Gramps was telling us, right? Or aliens! All we can do is keep solving cases and collect more info. As long as the Phantom Thieves of Hearts do what they do best, we'll set this shit straight. <laughs> My money's on the guy down there. He's got a face portrait. Then I'll back. Let me make some important. Wow, Ryuji. That was pretty insightful. I'm surprised. He's right. And in that sense, attending this lecture is a valuable use of our time. Let's make sure we pay attention all the way to the end. Right, Joker? Joker? Oh, oh yeah. Oh, uh, well, yeah. That's super great algorithms and shit. <laughs> Yo. How long was I out? So, what did the dude say? Damn, Rigi, you stole my joke. Oh, can I smack you? Well, he didn't exactly say anything out of the ordinary. And again, I wouldn't expect him <laughs> to trip up that easy. He's just up on stage, he's like, Anyway, this function here, this allows you to find your nearest diner, and this function here allows you to steal the hearts of, the, of, everyone, of everyone around you. I mean, whoopsies! Well, I'm starving, so maybe we should just head back? I was talking for friggin' ever. Hey guys, that stuff you said earlier, was all of that true? Huh? Are you really the Phantom Thieves of Hearts? What? What the fuck? Are you like Piccolo or something? Do your ears hear from a mile away? Where were you? What are you doing here? Leave us alone, lady! What? You're the woman from the Beef Tongue restaurant. Oh, Ichinose-san, right? You heard all that? Well, the thing is, I'm really good at picking up when a cat meows. Honestly, I found that way more interesting than Kanoe's lecture. God damn it, Morgana. This is always happens. It's all your fault. What the heck? Why is it my fault? You're just always running around telling everybody about us. I know, but nobody listens when I say it. Yeah, it's because you're a cat. You can't go around saying this shit because then you just not meowing and everyone loves cats. Until they realize what an asshole you are. Fuck you! Mona? M me? But you guys are the ones she overheard. All right, that's it. We're going to have to kill her now. Get her, guys. What the hell are we going to do? Better play innocent. We could run. Time to come clean. Run! Whoa, stop, stop. It's all right. This place will be closing up soon. Let's talk more outside. You're going to do me a little favor. Damn it. I want to. To think you guys are the famous phantom thieves. Shut the fuck up, lady. You got the wrong guys. We were just pretending. I think you misheard us. Come on now. Don't try to hide it. When you guys mentioned Alice and Natsume, I imagine you were referring to Alice Hiragi and Ango Natsume from the press conferences, yes? Who the fuck are you and why are you here? Leave me alone, lady! I just wanted to have a snowball summer vacation, lady. You're just making it so much weirder. Is it safe to assume those were your doing? No. Oh, and what was that about Emma giving people access to jails? Oh, is that related to everyone's hearts getting changed? No, it's a new kind of... A hentai. We're like part of a hentai advocate group that's uh, really into this dark, dank, dirty hentai that involves chains and jails and booty smacking and laundry machines and, uh, you know, it's right, guys? Right. Come on, guys, back me up. What the hell? I'm the old light here. She, she heard everything. Man, we talk way too loud, apparently. Um, can we ask what you're doing here, Ichinose-san? Oh, I told you at the Beef Tongue place, didn't I? I'm a researcher at the university. Oh, that's right. Yeah, sorry, I was just... Uh, that whole conversation is a blur to me because you just terrified me. I'm also the one who designed the base for Emma. Oh. 
You made the base? I didn't tell you. I specialize in the research and development of artificial intelligence. Oh, cool. Well, then you know, do you know her? Pull Sophie out. Hi! Uh, he definitely didn't hear about that. Around the time I finished developing Emma, Medice came to me with an offer to buy it. I was actually pretty tight on money at the time, so I went ahead and sold it. Is this lady for real? For real? Oh, by the way, that's why Medice is participating in the lecture today. Well, to be more accurate, the university asked me to reach out to them. I certainly didn't expect the CEO himself to show up, though. I only got invited because of my little connection with the company. Anyhow, yeah, that's how I ended up being there to overhear everything. So you're Emma's creator, and Medice is simply the ones running it? Oh, well, they're definitely the ones running it, but I can't say for sure if that's all they've been doing. <laughs> Man, it's a good thing you were the one that overheard us, not some fucking rando who's like, holy shit, the fucking fan face, dude! I'm gonna tweet all about this shit! We'd have, we literally would have to kill that person. He would have to die. <laughs> Chloroform his ass and then dump his dumbass body into the river. All right, guys. I'm not gonna tell anybody about this, all right? You didn't see anything. Dude, what am I gonna do? What am I gonna <laughs> I smacked the shadow version. Go now, Ryuji Shadow! Go now! It's just like killing shadows, okay? That was a shadow, but in the real world. But dude, he seemed a lot like a human. No, Ryuji, that's what they want you to think. It was a shadow. It was a shadow. Sophia's like, no, it was definitely a human. I got his Facebook account right here. Shut up, Sophia! I just designed the base. Who knows what Medice did once I sold it to them? So, you know all about Emma then, right? Naturally. It's like my baby, you know. And at the risk of tooting my own horn, it's a really good baby. Well, never would have expected this turn of events. Do you think she's telling the truth about designing Emma? I do think it's impressive that the CEO of Medice came to personally give a lecture. I think it's impressive that we managed to keep this show on the down low for as long as we have. If she's the one who made it happen, doesn't that mean she has a lot of influence? This is true. And let's not forget the university asked her to attend the lecture. What should we do? She could probably tell us a lot about Emma. Not to mention she knows who we are now. What do you think? Let's tell the truth. Let's ask for help. Let's play dumb run for it. No way. It's a little late for that, don't you think? Well, if you guys had fucking listened to me when I said it at the start. Yeah, it'd be a real drag if we ditched her now and she started telling the whole world about us. That's why we have to kill her, Ryuji. Then we may as well go all in and find out what we can. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. Man, fuck you guys. That plan was way better. Then, we'll tell her everything. And so then I ripped their faces off, and then I cast Agadad. Is all of that true? And then I press Triangle Circle, do a Showtime attack, and then... All right, dude, dude, I think you're giving a little too much detail. We said tell her everything. Right. We know. It's kind of hard to believe, huh? Hey, what if we just show her, like we did with Senkichi? Sure, why not? Let's get another party member. Wow, it really does exist! I mean, how else could you explain all this? So Emma functions as the entry point here, huh? Now, that's if I consider the possibilities. Uh, she believed all that? Oh, you have no idea how fascinating this is! What an incredible development! <laughs> uh, well, at least we don't gotta go through the trouble of convincing her. Ichinose-san, do you have any idea why Emma is serving as an entry point to the jails? No, couldn't tell you. I'm surprised this other world even exists. There's no way I could have thought of a way to get in if I didn't even know it existed to begin with. Don't you lie to me. Yeah, that figures. Wait, so that means that function was added later? A world where people's desires are stolen and their hearts are changed. Hmm, so many questions. <gasps> oh! oh, wait, maybe I should be heartbroken here. Baby is being used for evil after all. Evil! Let's help each other. We like your cooperation. Think you can help? Right. How about we make a deal? Ooh, I like the sound of that. Super Phantom Thiefy! I'd be glad to help however I can. But first, let me tell all my friends that I know the Phantom Thieves! And I can't say I don't feel kind of responsible for all of this. 
More than anything, though, I think I'd die of curiosity if I didn't get involved. So, what do you need me to look into? Say the word, and I'm on it. You're gonna die one way or another if you fucking tell anybody about us. I swear to God. Tell us about Emma. Tell us about Medici. Or Medici. What happened after you sold it? Very interested to know exactly what kind of changes Emma went through thereafter. I see. Basically, you'd like to know the secret behind this new version of Emma. And if someone's responsible, you want to know who. Oh, hey. We found some of those mystery junk parts out there, didn't we? Maybe if she takes a look at them, we'll learn more about that world. Mystery junk parts? Man, she been selling to fucking Sophia? Ooh, so you're gonna give me a bunch of neat stuff to analyze? Yes, that's excellent. Just wonderful. That... I'll even buy them from you, as research materials. Hmm. Well, if this is going to be a deal, then we'll need to provide something as well. Hmm. Nonsense. It's fine just the way it is. My inner researcher is just squealing with delight. So, what do you say we seal the deal? Kiss me! It's a deal then. Here's to working with you. We'll be counting on you. Okay, I'm looking forward to it. Oh boy. Junk parts become easier to obtain. Oh, yo, if she specializes in AI, maybe we should ask about Sophia, yeah? So is she just getting, now instead of selling it to Sophia, I'm just selling it to her, all these like random junk pieces? Huh, I mean, is it gonna function any differently? Am I gonna get more money or something? Huh, Sophia. Or is it something else? Hi, I'm Sophia, humanity's companion. It's nice to meet you, Ichinose. Mommy! Probably! This is Sophia? Huh. It's nice to meet you, too. Who flipped the switch on her? Oh, no, it's just that I've got so much on my mind right now. I guess even I'm a little confused. Oh, god damn, you're already hiding shit from us. Come on, lady, we just spilled the beans. I told you how I ripped faces off. I cast Agadon! Come on, lady! Sophia's an AI we met in the metaverse. Is there anything you can tell us about her? No, nope, I can't say I know anything about her. Think you could send me her code later, though? Huh? Oh, sure. No problem. Oh, come on. That name immediately sparked something in her, right? She she seemed like she recognized it. Here, I'll give you my contact information. Well, then, I'm excited to see how this all develops. See you around. You know what you know, she's starting to remind me a lot of uh, Panda Maho. Minus the panda. In terms of her, uh, Occupation and contributions. Uh, well, there she goes. <laughs> oh, well, bye, bye. Would have been nice if she'd known something about Sophia. I'm okay, as long as I can stay useful to you guys. Guess that takes care of that. Oh, yeah. I totally forgot after all that's just happened, but we're heading to Sapporo next. Right? Oh, fuck. We only got like a few hours to get there. Come on, guys. Get in the car. Yeah, we should get going. Zenkichi's waiting for us in Hokkaido. Hell yeah. Hokkaido, here we come. Yeah! Oh. Next up, Okada, I'll say goodbye to this fucking garbage piece of shit city. I think you didn't take off your list while we're here. This is your last chance. I'll set the RV once you're good and ready to go. Ah, uh, here we go. Once you choose to go to the next city, you will be unable to return to the city you are currently in. Make sure you buy limited time items to take care of business that can only be done in that city. Unlike the cities in the real world, you can revisit past jails at any time. However, be aware that requests obtained from conversing with your friends in past cities will no longer be available to accept or complete. Oh. Uh. Yeah. Hey yo! Gonna borrow you something I wanna do before something I wanna do before we go. I shall leave you at the entrance of Mount Al Alba Park Shrine. Oh, cool. Hey, my partner's got new things to say. Neat. Well that's nice. At least give me a one one last chance. Uh junk parts become easier to obtain. Sure. Uh a mount drop. Sure. So like this is the parts I get from like just finding on the map, right? I guess. Maybe. Shouldn't we be going? Next episode, Kaido. Make sure you've taken care of all your last minute shopping and sightseeing. If you'd like, you could even train for a bit in the jail. A little workout for a long car ride can do wonders. That's like I have something new to say. I was bashing to see me now, but to tell you the truth, I was a little impressed. Whether it was triggered by the fan of these or not, polishing like that takes a lot of guts. Maybe I'll skim through his book next time I see him on the shelves. Please take a glance at the title. <laughs> <laughs> at least look at it. L look, close the title and then put it back. Hmm? Give me some shit. In 
Impressive. Yeah. Oh, big dick blessing. Yo. There you are, Nico. Why don't you get a picture of this cut, cut out board before we head out? It's a great photo op, so it'd be a real waste not to. Come with me. Damn, I was thinking the same thing, actually. I've gone ahead and called an aria over, too, so you should join in. All right. Thank you. Hey, thanks. And let's start making some memories. Oh, boy. Here comes the goofy music. <laughs> okay, without further ado, it's time to play Who Looks More Like Date Masamune. In the blue corner, we have Inari. That's fine. Hmm. I don't quite follow, but I'll do my best. Behold. How's this? Ooh. Whoa, this is crazy. We really do look like him. Yeah, looking good, Yusuke. Hmm. It's like he's wearing armor. How interesting. Very autistic. Make a funny face. What's up, Master Muni? What's up? Very well. Ha, I can't do it. I can't say I don't like the sound of that. What's up, Joker? What's up? Hmm. Hmm, there's still something missing. Oh, that's right. Oh, I know. Nico, you get the old, the other one. What? No, make more kind of do it. Hello there. Ah, uh -huh, here comes the princess. You couple. Damn it. Why can't this be real life? Something is amiss. Nico, it's just me, or are we being exploited for entertainment? I'm okay with this, actually. Let's let me live out my own fantasies. Don't worry about it. It's all part of the road trip. We're an item now. <laughs> well, if you say so. <laughs> oh my god. Please, please, please. Right, right. <laughs> well, he just goes with it. He's like, he didn't give a fuck. Yeah, it looks great, but maybe you get a little more into the role. Like this. Aww. Nope, not even close. Look at Ari, your Lord Dante Masamune. Kiss your loving wife. Do it right now. Yes, kiss your loving wife. As ruler of the Tohoku region, everyone's throwing mad respect your way. You gotta own it. In that case. I see. Then perhaps like this. You think you can win the respect of your people like that, bitch? Then how about this? Yes. Persona. Comes over, just fucking slices some random dude in half. Sorry, you actually kind of freaked me out. It's just my face when I hit the fucking wing point. Everyone have fun at this photo stand in, I think. Ah. This Kawani most knows that she's like a pretty big name in the AI field. So she's a computer expert who can apparently blow off the whole world around her during a rant. The verdict of an ex shut in? Sounds like she might not be the most social butterfly in the garden. <laughs> Unlike me! Well, don't worry. She's got a whole bunch of new friends now with plenty of experience breaking through to people. Hey, don't sell the, the power of social anxiety short. Although I will say, a fellow geek is easier to, than anyone else for me to talk to. Come on, come on! She's gonna do the fan piece a world of good. So we should just let her do her thing for now until we get to Hokkaido. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Did you know two million people come to the Tanabata here in Sendai every year? After those crowds we saw yesterday, I'd buy it. Man, can you imagine if we came here last year? You'd have, I'd have been KO'd in an instant. But now, I can even go souvenir shopping all on my own. No problem. I mean, yes, because I know you're all here nearby, but still. <laughs> by the time this trip's over, I'll be strolling through crowds all by myself, whistling a little tune. And then you shall cower on my mind. Wahaha! <laughs> Daba, you're just a silly little billy, you know that? We see our visitor counts return to normal. There also seems to be less concern among people. Perhaps it's all according to the will of Lord Dante Master Beauty. Show sure, whatever. That's nothing to do with us. Saving your stupid ass. Guess go look at this dumb statue one last time. Hey there. <laughs> Maybe Lord Master Beauty himself would be surprised at what we did. I'm sure he'd probably be like, I would have done it faster. Man, I hope, you, I hope I can make you a persona someday, sir. I'm gonna use you to bisect some motherfuckers. Hey! There's a TV out here. Was this out here before? I never noticed this. Yeah, I'm thinking of hitting up a ramen jump before we roll out. Apparently, Sinai is all about the spicy miso ramen. Can you believe I never heard of it that way before the trip? You should grab one last bowl for yourself if you think you'll miss it. <sighs> Man, do we really have to leave already? I'm so busy. I feel like we barely got to do anything here. I'm gonna definitely looking forward to our next stop, though. Sapara is the place for ramen. We just got ramen on the brain, as usual. One of these places refreshed again. Look, Nico. It's a Tanabata decoration. Beautiful. It may be a standard tourist souvenir, but I find it still has a certain elegant charm. Apparently, these festival decorations are not solely for display. Individuals may write down their own wishes and tie them to the branches. Common wishes include happiness and success of family and loved ones. I see. 
Or say we display this one in the RV, Nico. Considering how wishes and desires are one and the same, it would make a rather fitting souvenir for our trip. Tanabata decoration. A little memento. What, what, wait, wait, why did I get an achievement for that? Uh, a gift from Sendai. Make sure Tanabata decoration made with love. Cool. What do I do with it? So put it on the RV. We'll actually be on the RV now. Obtain a souvenir for for the camper. Oh, cool. Yeah. Neat. So I guess I'll just see it on the inside there. We're going to deck out our camper as we go along. That'll be cute. I like it. Oh, wait. I've been thinking. Money, power, fame. These are what warp a person's true desires. This is what makes staying true to one's heart so important. Absolutely. Our light, our heart bars. Bikino Boss taught me. Ah, Haru. You look so cute in your yukata earlier. I had a great time at the festival yesterday. In fact, I haven't had that much fun in a good long while. And all the food was great. I noticed everyone coursing themselves more than usual. Was the food especially delicious? Mm. Well, it was good, but I think it was the livelier atmosphere that made it so easy to get a little wild. Wild. The dazzling lights, the colorful decorations, the roar of the drums, and the crowd. My head buzzing from all the laughing. All these things came together to make a once-in-a-lifetime moment. And so... Got it. Fun things make for special memories. Fun things are fun! Yes, and people die when they're killed. The Celeste will see a ton of bad decors for the year. We should make a lot... It should take a lot of pictures. Oh, wait, wait. Have they refreshed? <laughs> yes, they did. Sweet. Buy all my shit. Once again. Hmm? Gonna grab a soda for the road. Blah, 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 blah. Hmm? Blah, 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 blah. Uh, guess what? Bookworm's back. The cow's back. The culprit totally admitted it. Well, it seems like Bookworm will be back up and running into time. Yeah, Fanthies, you're the greatest. Hell yeah, we are. Here we come to save the day. All signs of positiveness. Just assume he already gone. It's like he was never here. What if that means he never, he never actually had anyone in his corner? Wait, please hold on. That is not the, the case. I found a number of posts online where people are supportive of Natsume. Despite him being a lying, cheaty piece of shit. Oh, in that case, the guild make it just fine in the end. Even though he's going to jail. Hey there. Who knows? Maybe he'll post another book at some point. I'll be willing to give it a read. Although, on second thought, I'm not so great with print. I think I'd still be supportive if I waited until the movie verse to come out. To come out. Okay, wait, no, never mind. This guy's still here. Oh, I'm terrible. Even the boss asked me some rogues to chase hard. My love makes me low so low. We're such a thing happened. It would be of no consequence. False love is no better than false hope. I would only make it end my suffer. Very well then. I'm going to ask her again, out again. I'll get a proper job with some money to suffer our future. Mirror effects just not enough to protect one support to you. Wait for me, honey, bye. Oh my God, what the hell? You telling me this weirdo got in a character talk too? This random as fuck NPC. Damn, everybody's gonna kick the rock. This guy, holy shit, guy, really, guy. Yeah, holy shit. I can't wait to see what new and hilarious talking NPCs we come across in the next city. It's interesting. I, I kind of thought the the Sabora would be like the last one we go to, right? I'm assuming it's actually the next one. Like, we're, like we're just gonna stop a whole bunch of places on the way and then. Sabora is like the final one, but doesn't seem to be that way. All right, we didn't send like some new requests or anything, do we? Nope. All right, let's get the fuck out of here. Uh, oh, there's a thing on the wall there next to Yusuke. Cool. So we're slowly, we're slowly gonna start decking out this thing, huh? I like it. All right, let's get the crap. What are you gonna do? Add a send down to the next city. We're heading out. Let's go. Let's go. All right, let's do this. Let's do it. We on the road again. So, how long to Sapporo? From here, it'll take approximately 12 hours under normal Holy fuck. As well as a trip by ferry. No way. I thought we were closer than 12 that. 12 hours, fuck me. This will have to stop and snooze another night before we get there. Even after landing in Hokkaido, we still have a long drive ahead of us. Will you be all right, Mako-chan? Don't worry. I'll be able to power the whole way through. You rock, Makoto. I like that energy. Few hours later, a certain parking area. <sighs> I have to admit, I'm kind of exhausted. Yep, driving for a long period of time is exhausting. You okay? You should rest for a bit. Don't push yourself too much. <laughs> Thanks. I should be fine after a little rest. That's true. We were in the camper all day. We definitely owe you a break. Sorry for asking too much of you, Mako-chan. I wish I could drive in your stead. Don't you worry about me. Driving's a responsibility I enjoy. Plus, 
It's nice listening to everyone chatter away in the back. It keeps me alert and motivated. And we will find a way to repay your devotion. Ryuji, massage her shoulders at once and procure the finest soft serve money can buy. On it! Wait, why does it have to be me? I'll massage you you're too Ryuji. Bed. I know this technique that works wonders on sore muscles. Us models use it all the time. That'd be great. I could use a good massage. Makoto, I need to apologize. What? Oh, why? Because I can't help you. Even though I know how effective physical stimulation is at treating fatigue, but I'm all digital, and therefore incapable of massaging. <laughs> it's alright, Sophie. I'm gonna use the, the vibration of my phone, and I'm gonna use that to massage Makoto's uh, soul muscles. An AI that can't provide assistance cannot be humanity's companion. I'm as worthless as a book. Bu oh, sad, Sophia. Sophia, sad. Uh, Sophia? Are you going through mood swings or something? We all feel down at times. You're a good fighter. You're far from worthless. We all feel down at times. Yeah, no need to be so hard on yourself. You've been a great deal of help so far. We owe you a lot, Sophia. Yeah, you got yo-yos. Use those yodos to kill stuff. You mean it? That makes me happy. And I do want to try this soft serve you speak of. Your mood swung right back to normal. Makoto, you look spent. I say we call it a day the moment we reach Hokkaido. In that case, we should treat ourselves to some local cuisine for dinner. Oh, I've always wanted to try wasabi soda. Uh, no thanks. Wasabi soda? Is that a thing? That sounds like death. That sounds like actual death. Hang in there, Makoto. Sapporo's just a stone throw away. I hear you. Hokkaido sure is vast, isn't it? We got like some potatoes there. Dead That's chips. Enough to call it huge Kaido by my reckoning. Oh! It's supposed to be a lot cooler up here, so hopefully that means no more stuffy, sleepless nights. You said it. There's nothing more hellish than sleeping in a hot, sweaty tent crammed with dudes. <laughs> I know it's straight sausage fest. Hellish indeed. We're so overheated we'd nearly strip naked by morning time. Found it <laughs> I found it so lully refreshing. Oh, me too, Yusuke. Me too. I stroke his cheek. Mm. <laughs> Just make sure you keep the nudity inside the tent, please. Just let it all hang out. Ah, I wasn't there yet. Ah, oh, there we go. Behold, not the Eiffel Tower. Hello. Hello! So this is Sapporo Central City, a bustling outpost of civilization, cradled by the untamed wilderness. Hey, you think they're still doing the snow festival? Are you seriously that dumb? Well, it certainly is cooler here than Tokyo. It should be a nice change of pace. I don't know what you guys still have as fuck here. I know we just got here, but I want to check whether there's a jail nearby. Sophia? I do smell a jail. An intense one. A level three jail! Just like Gramps said. That means whoever Zenkiji's looking into is the monarch of Sapporo. Then may I suggest we comb the area for intel? Uh, before that, I think we should hit the bath. Seriously, I've been feeling all gross since yesterday. Agreed. It would be nice to freshen up a little first. Then let me help. I've already located a bathing facility only 500 meters from here. Wow, Sophia, you work quick. Guess it's bath time for you guys then. In the meantime, I'll be on the prowl for that intel. And don't worry, Mona-chan. I'll rinse you down as soon as we're done. Don't you dare! But what? No, no, I, I can clean myself just fine. It's just as the data says. Cats hate getting wet. Don't lump me in with those other fur balls. I demand you give your data a full rewrite. I'd like to try a bath. Would someone mind bringing this phone in? Well, fortunately, Apple has made their phones waterproof these days up to a certain point. So it's gotta be a caveat though, right? God, and I really want to take my phone when I went deep sea diving too. God. Uh, wouldn't the hot water like wreck it along with you inside? I'm sure we can work out the details. Now, Sophia, 
Will you guide us there? Mm -hmm. This is a Dory Park. It's famous for its fountain and its and TV tower. The bathhouse is in a place called Suzushino. She'll be a short walk away from here, so let's get going. Ooh, new music. Neat. Ah, oh, shit, we got some new requests already. God, can't go. Here's what I found. Can't go two fucking seconds without some new shit dropping on us. Painful past. I'm going on Sume. Uh, unlocks level cap for bond skill. Well, fuck me sideways. We better go do that immediately. Yeah, Junk collection part fun. one. Quan, you notice a friend of Metaverse. Uh, hey there, how's the trip going? Hope you don't mind my hitting you up right away. I'd like to analyze some of the mysterious junk you're finding. Let me know when you've got enough. Uh, deliver uh, chip microchip. Well, it looks like I got plenty of that. Uh, Sophia's armor shop. Uh, I wish I could offer a higher quality selection of armor, but I have to make I have to make a trade to access the goods. Could you help me collect some high quality fur from a beast? Defeat Orthos. Five, five of them. Okay. Oh, come on. We already done that a billion times now. Her weapon shop. Defeat High Pixie. 20 of them? Good lord. Okay. More weapons available. Time to get to work. You're doing this one? Kill Ongo again. Time to get to work. Trapped You're in Wonderland. I desire in uh, Shibuya. Lure Forgotten Desire and uh, more accessories will be available. Okay. Yeah, it seems like I'm not be I'm not gonna be able to sell to her now anymore. I'm getting the, my junk items to uh, the other other chick, though it doesn't seem to have been added yet. All right, wait. Where's the new vending machine? Where is it? I see it on the map. Ah, hmm? uh, just HP healing bullshit. We got up to 20 HP though for uh, vending machine items, which is pretty good. Oh, check out the fountain. The water stuff's pretty soothing, doesn't it? Let's look around some more after a bath. Cool. Actually, I wonder if I can even shop. Morgan's probably not going to let me, right? <laughs> oh, me. I can. Cool. Thanks a lot. Freshly boiled corn, huh? Wait. Corn oh, wagon? Yeah. Grilled corn? Boiled corn? Wow, grilled corn. So what's the difference between this one and this one? This one's got a word before it. Hi, welcome. Something to cool the fuck off. Uh... Hey, decrease the jail security level. Sure. Thank you very much. Uh, cure rage and fear for one ally. That's nice. I can sing this sweet have zero calories. That's what I'm saying. Ooh, a gelato hey, shop. Welcome. welcome. Oh my God, I got reliable banana flavor for 40 HP and then strawberry for 30. Cause we all know bananas better than strawberry. All right, bye. Walking, walking, walking. Mommy, do you think Kaho chan will like these? I don't know, sweetheart. Kaho's fucking dead, okay? I'm pretty sure she doesn't give a shit. I do. She'll say, thank you for the pretty flowers. If only heaven wasn't so far away, then maybe I could see her. Did something happen over there? They're leaving flowers. Maybe somebody passed away. Now that you mention it, I do recall there was an accident on the news. Something about a snow sculpture collapsing in Odori Park. That sounds unusual. It ended up taking a young girl's life. Maybe that was where it happened. I can only imagine the sorrow her family must be suffering. Yeah. What's wrong? Are we not taking a bath anymore? Why is everyone crying about dead people? Come on! People die all the time! Look! In the past 30 seconds, 300 people have just died in this city alone! Thanks, Sophia. That makes me feel a lot better. Can the bath help wash my depression away? Hmm. The family seemed rather upset earlier. Does something bad happen here? Uh, okay. Can't go in the subway there. Selfies! Got the big old selfie stick. Who sees the shooter that way? I want to ride the tower! What if it drops down like those towels, the theme box? Woo! Whoa, that, that man looks a little too happy to have that glass of wine. Mm, yes! Ah! Wow, cool. Hi. We're now in Suzushino. It's apparently a haven for pedestrians around this time. Wonder why it's so crowded, though. Everyone's talking about voting. Let's go. Well, no matter. Back to the bathhouse. Just go straight for a bit, then take a ride, and you'll be there. Have I experienced this, like, area in any of my other games? Because it feels sort of familiar, like a relatively recognizable spot. Like Steins Gate or 
Yakuza or something. It just has that look about it. Oh, wait, it's past. I already passed by two shops. Hmm. There's a place for Lady Almond Love. Too bad they're only open at night. Ah, shit. Daytime, nighttime cycle here. Oh, what the hell? It's a little mini Big Bang Burger. Let's call this the mini Bang Burger. I can take your order whenever. I don't think any special shit here. I think I bought all the Eaton Burgers the other place I had. As many as I could get. Uh, nope, so I'm finding our SP uh, healing shit. Grab that, it's because it cures Dizzy. <gasps> Upstretch Arm Man is back! Oh my god! And his arms are just as jacked as they were in the previous city. Yes, I am here! And I will continue to sing my song of why, 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 why? It's fun to say it though. Why, 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 why? Aka, Aka Gire. Hey, there's the SP thing. And 30 SP? Holy fuck! A supplement chock full of vitamins. Damn. Ooh, a hundred healing uh, HP thing. Uh, whoa, your sleep range and rage and brainwash. That is uh, very good. And greatly increases the showtime gauge. Also very good. I'll buy that and I'll buy all these. See you next time. Alavenza, hmm? you gotta beat me here, huh? Uh, must be there. None here either. Damn, where's my SP? Better not be this city doesn't have any except for that one place. Oh wait. Hmm. So they're only open at night. Oh, cool. So there are like a few locations that you can only go to in the evening. Dining bar. They aren't open right now. There seem to be a great many stores that only open during the night. Thank you so much. Jingetsu restaurant. Welcome. We got some seats in the back. Oh, you're, you're taking to go. What's up, dude? What's up, dude? Uh, Homestyle Jingusukan. Uh, chef inspired restaurant not required. Includes lamb, meat, cabbage, and onion. I'll take that. <laughs> Uh, give me books to send of lamb meat. Dude, these guys are fucking hamming it up with these for these NPCs. Uh, maybe I won't then. And this place had a SP healing item as well. Maybe this city just doesn't have them for uh, vending machines. Potentially. Oh, there's actually stuff across the street as well. Mariko Hiyodo, please vote on election day. Mmm. Is that gonna be the place? Is that a KFC? Oh, wait. It's a KFM. And, then a, and a hamburger. Real beef, only 600 yen. Very, very yummy, says the poster. Well, I know what I'm getting. Curie Restaurant? Uh, not finding any new recipes yet either. Information desk. Looks rather busy busy in there. Luckily, you have B instead. I'm way better than that, fool. Uh, nope. <laughs> Tasty jelly from your friendly neighborhood alien? Alien brand jelly. You just, like, eat the jelly straight up without anything on it? That's kind of weird. Triple filtered carbonated Shibuya water. Holy shit. That's some clean ass water. Uh. Mm -hmm. Robin Alley. Oh, check out the restaurants. They're looking, smell so good. Snake again. Oh! What? Miso ramen. Oh, oh there's a recipe. So it smells delicious. Man, try it. Sit, da sit down and try it. Hey! Hey, dude. I don't think this was on the map. You ain't here too? Let's sit down together, dude. Mmm, good stuff. When you're in Supra, you gotta get miso ramen. Excuse me, can I get another order of chasu? Actually, make that two. One for me and one for this guy. I enjoyed miso ramen with Ryuji. I feel a flash of inspiration. I saw ramen set. Great, recreate restaurant quality flavor from your own home. Puts flour and miso. Please come back soon. Did I? No, no, it was. It was. I just, I'm just goofball. I thought, I thought I already looked there. I wonder if I can learn a new recipe at the liquor store. This is karaoke. No, 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 it goes like this. It goes like this, Sophia. Oh, river in a dry land. So some similar singing shops like this Shibuya. Be sure to love to sing. Big gotcho. Pretty sure this song is gonna play into some something later. We're really driving it home. Hey there. <laughs> Seafood ball. You made your choice. Here you go. Sit down. Try oh. it. Oh, are you out grabbing food too, Nico? Doesn't the seafood bowl here look amazing? I think I should try that. Just look at all the raw fish they use. Don't worry, Morgana. I'll buy one to go for you. Oh, how thoughtful, Makoto. Can't thank you enough. Try seafood bowls with Makoto. Flash of inspiration. 
40 HP to all allies? Damn. That's pretty good, actually. Uh, and of course, yeah, get the SP stuff. Uh, a dish for urchin lovers. Can never stop at just with at just one. Here you go. Grainy sea urchin. Grainy is in there's like sand in it, or grainy is in like the texture of the. I don't know. How about like the sound of like grainy? Local supermarket. A. Hey. That's where all my food is. Here you go. Yeah, that's it, huh? What? <laughs> this is definitely the uh the teenage girl doesn't give a fuck about her job. She's like, I'm just doing this part-time, alright? She's like, God, whatever. See you later, God. Bath time. Time to get naked. Okay, we're here. Ooh, what a fancy spot. Okay, go get yourself cleaned up. Oh shit, we in fan service or are we just skipping over this? Oh shit, fan service! All right, guys, dicks out. Ah, now this is paradise. I'll say the heat has crept into my bones and into my balls. This really melts the stress away. The temperature's perfect. I miss the place in it, blah. Yeah, that bath was pretty solid. We should go again when we're in town. Anyways, it's nice having a bath like this all to ourselves. Can't get that at home. What's more, we're in the middle of a long journey. We must take proper measures to recover our strength and stamina. Whoa, on! Are those CGI? Ah. I can hear voice. Hear voices come from the girl's side. What cheat codes did you use to get those? Dieting life hacks? You're so skinny. Yet <laughs> Your boobs are huge! It, it wouldn't be our Persona game, right? Unless we had a bathhouse scene where we're talking about, and the girls are talking about each other's boobs. And then Ryuji's probably gonna wanna, wanna sneak a peek, right? Just isn't a persona. It's gotta happen at some point, right? It's it's now a prere prerequisite, apparently. Could you stop drawing attention to me? Go bother Haru instead. Hers are no different. Whoa, God, you're right! <gasps> stop it! Haru, not bad. These could knock someone flat. Could you please keep it down? Remember, it's not only us in here. <laughs> Rich is like, oh. <laughs> Wait, yes. should we leave? Hot Springs rule. Looking good, Rich. Oh my God, these are these two are fucking amazing. Hot Springs rule. But I gotta do this, right? Looking good, Ryuji. Oh, thanks. I've been really working these abs. Wait. What? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Dude, I'm doing what she's doing, right? Damn. You got some nice tits on you on YouTube, Yuji. Oh, let me see. Let me see. No, stop it. Let me stop it. Ah, stop it. Man, this water feels great. Morgana really should have been here. Sophia might like it as well. Though being incorporeal may pose a challenge. She really is a mystery, ain't she? What are your thoughts on her? She's a really cool AI. She's humanity's companion. She's a really cool AI. That much is obvious, but didn't she say something about wanting to understand people's hearts? Ah, oh, the heart of mankind. Try as I may, I have yet to depict its full essence in my paintings. It hides both darkness and light, mingling beauty and atrocity in its depths. Try as you may to unravel it. Its enigma grows deeper still. Deeper! Hmm. Not sure I can comment on that, but I do know Sophia gets along with all of us. Gets me thinking she might not need to worry about all that heart stuff. You have a point there. It's become a good companion. She does it so she can grow. That is indeed a logical conclusion, particularly for a sentient program. Understanding the heart would certainly prove helpful. Uh, yeah, what you said. She seems pretty dead set on it, too. If that's what Sophia has decided, we should lend her our full support. She is our precious ally, after all. <laughs> True enough. She could use all the help she can get. Damn, the heat's starting to get to me. Want to ditch the bath and grab some milk coffee? I'll take strawberry milk instead. For medley milk for me. Whoa, that sounds good, too. Now I can't make up my mind. I protest. We're in Hokkaido, as you may recall. 
It would be a sin to forego its fresh dairy offerings for some artificial substitute. Man, these games are such a slice of Japan. What, a fruit medley milk? What the fuck is that? Is there like 10 different flavors of fruit in there or something? That sounds like it'd be a fucking cavalcade in my mouth and I like it. Actually, I am kind of curious what that'd be like. It'd be like having a whole bag of Skittles mixed with milk. To appreciate it properly, we must partake right as it's squeezed from the other. The way fathers <laughs> have done for millennia. <laughs> what the hell? Suck it right from the teeth. Uh, yeah. Knock yourself out, man. Gonna get in there. Strawberry milk comes right out of the right out of the cow. Body and mind refreshed. Wow, Ryuji, you didn't try to look over the fence. I'm proud of you, man. I guess maybe we learned something. These horny adventures of ours never play out well, right? We always get the shit kicked out of us. That bath was just what we needed. Thanks for suggesting this place, Sophia. No problem. Glad I could be of service. I noticed you guys were pretty quiet. Oh, uh, well, <laughs> you know. Ruji was just showing me his abs, his rock hard abs. Huh? You have a phone call from Zenkichi. Ah, oh, say bye to Zenkichi. Yo, what up? Greetings. You are now speaking to the long arm of the law. So, you guys in Sapporo yet? New phone, who this? Long arm of the law? Who is this? Zenkichi Hasegawa, come on, you know it's me. <laughs> Stop being an asshole. I'm sorry, I just can't help myself. Anyway, I wanted to set up a meeting. I'm gonna swing by the RB in the evening. Zinkichi's Who are you again? Gonna meet us? Then let's go be ready for it. Noon. Night. Wait, I gotta go to the other shops now. They're open at night. Now that we're all together, let's talk about the monarch of Sapporo. Our suspect's name is Mariko Hyoto. Yep. Oh, and wait for it. She's the mayor of Sapporo Central. Interesting. Our target's a mayor? The mayor! No way! Wouldn't that make her the most influential person in Sapporo? She is the Burgermeister! How could someone like that be a monarch? Sheeta wasn't so different. This could complicate things. Sheeta wasn't so different. This is true. Such things have happened before. Goddamn politicians! How'd you find out she's the one? Because everybody is suddenly in love with her. Mayor Hyoto's approval rating now sits at a lofty 88%. She gained 50 points in the last two months alone. Did you say 50? 50? All of them? So she got crazy popular out of nowhere? It's more than just crazy. It's unheard of. There's more. <laughs> Nobody likes politicians this much. Last month, three city councilmen who opposed her bill admitted to corruption and resigned. <laughs> and committed Sudoku. Any remaining councilmen who opposed her suddenly became her most fervent advocates. Not to mention the elections coming up. It's all too convenient. Rumor has it, Shoto wants to expand her political influence to the national level. PubSec's been investigating that. But, alas, we haven't run across any solid leads just yet. So, what do you make of all this? Sounds completely normal. Someone's changing hearts. Just not just a coincidence. A coincidence wouldn't last this long or go this deep. It is suspicious, I will admit. But we'd need a keyword to confirm whether she's a monarch or not. That won't be a problem. She's already referenced Emma several times in her speeches, meaning there's a good chance she's been announcing her keyword in public. So you're saying we can find out her keyword if we go see her speak? Very likely, yes. In fact, Kyoto's gonna be in Suzushino on the 10th making a speech. Since it's close to the election, the crowds may well be in the thousands. That's a grip. If she is indeed changing people's hearts, then perhaps this is no surprise. <sighs> is something wrong, Haru? No, it's just... It's hard to explain. Mariko Hyodo. The name seems familiar somehow. I mean, she is the mayor of town. Maybe you've heard her name on TV. Possibly. Sorry. Let's put that aside for now. Oh, looks like it's gonna be Haru's arc. <laughs> this is gonna be Haru's level. I knew it. Whatever you do, don't try and contact her directly. I'm saying this to keep you safe. It'll be a downright pain in the ass if she finds out we're onto her. 
I suggest you enjoy your leisure time until the day of the speech. Hey. Nico. Should we tell him what happened with Ichinose-san? She's an important part of our investigation now. Let's not tell him just yet. Nah, you should know. All right. You two have something you want to share? You made a deal with the inventor of Emma? Wait, hold on. That's Kuan Ichinose, you said? Where have I heard that before? Right, she was on my report. Ichinose is the one who wrote Emma from scratch. Were you looking into her? I was looking into Medice, actually. Wasn't long before her name popped up. The famous inventor who sold off Emma to Medice. Tell me, how'd you get cozy with someone like that? Well, she pretty much caught us. Oh, well, uh, I guess it just sort of happened. Waka waka. What matters is her familiarity with Emma. If anyone abuses it, she could help us find out who and why. Only Ichinose knows Emma's ins and outs, no matter what version it is. Makes sense. The report didn't make her out to be somebody dangerous. And while she does sound like a valuable source of info, I really want you guys to be more careful about this operation. I'm trusting you guys a lot by sharing all this classified intel. So I'd prefer you don't go creating liabilities like this behind my back. Understood. We'll take your advice to heart. Good. And besides, shouldn't I be your go-to guy for help? No. Seeing you guys run off making confidants left and right makes me feel like a lonely old man. Ah, good old days of confidants. Don't even remind me, man. I miss those days. Are you trying to gain our trust or get attention? Hate to say it, Gramps, but we do shit on our own because your help only gets us so far. What? It's not my fault I'm not an expert on all this cognitive mumbo jumbo. And would it kill you to ditch the Gramps? I'm as fly as any one of you kids. Yeah, you fly. Uh. Mm hmm. At least say something. Your glass are nice. That goatee's a statement. I don't need your pity. <laughs> I don't need your pity. You're the one bringing it up. <laughs> your glasses are not. That goatee's a statement. I don't need your pity. Shut the fuck up, Joker. Never mind that. Point is, there's a speech on the 10th, and I'm counting on you to be there. Yes, my goatee's a statement. Fuck you. I wish there was something we could do until then. I'm not a fan of waiting. More food. What else can we do but be prepared and keep ourselves in top condition? It's like Zenkichi said earlier. Let's enjoy our leisure time and make the most of our trip. Hey, since we're in Hokkaido, we should chat out on seafood. I hear Hokkaido's soup curry is also not to be missed. I'd like to visit the former government office. Their flowers are supposed to be breathtaking. Okay, then I'll set a route that takes us to each of those destinations. Thanks, Sophia. The directions are all yours tomorrow. Wee! More bonding! Wee! Ah oh, man, I didn't get to go check out the nighttime stuff. Aw. Oh. Meanwhile, it's Pearl Central, former Arcado government check office. It out. It's actually pretty hip for such an old place. God damn it, we're still going, aren't we? Fuck me. I probably should have saved earlier. I was like, I could just keep I'm, it's like I could go a little bit longer. Oh my god, we're still going. It was once the main office for the Hokkaido government. Now it remains a symbol of the island and an important cultural property. Sort of the problem is that you never know how long it's going to lock you into cutscenes, right? So it's like, sometimes maybe it's better to end earlier. Simply marvelous. There's a stillness and symmetry here that ignites my artist's soul. And the garden is so lovely. How many kinds of flowers do you think there are? What's going on over there? Uh oh. Oh, that's probably her, right? This flower is completely wilted. How could you overlook this? Look at this evil ass crazy Crello Deville lady, Jesus. Ma'am, I'm so sorry. It's just this summer's been much hotter than last year. This lady just looks evil. Spare me your excuses. This flower bed is one of the city's main points of attraction. Have you forgotten you work for the most powerful woman in Sapporo Central? Perhaps you won't much longer. Now die! Please, no! I'll do anything to fix this. You can keep your eyes glued to these flowers around the clock for all I care. Just do not let this happen again. 
And that's what I'll do, Mayor. Jeez, that's one scary lady. Oh, hold on. Did he just call her Mayor? That was easy. Oh, are you all here for sightseeing? Hello there! Do you like my fake smile? <laughs> I'm sorry you had to witness such unprofessional behavior from our staff during your visit. Yeah, that man's that man's behavior was disgusting. I am just completely insulted by it. Oh, no. Hmm. Could it be? You're Haru-chan. Yep, Harazak. Huh? It's me, your mom! Mom! <laughs> what? Of course you wouldn't recognize me. You were tiny the last time I saw you. It's me, Mariko Hyodo. Your father, President Okumura, was a very good friend of mine. Hyodo? She's the mayor? Oh, okay, guys, don't panic. Ah! Oh, could it be your Mari-san? Yes, yes. Oh, that lifts my heart. It's been ever so long. Uh, Haru, do you know this lady? Yes, of course I do. She used to come visit me back when I was little. Mari-san was one of my father's clients. They used to go golfing all the time. And she'd always keep me company whenever I was bored or lonely. Ah. Oh, some freaking coincidence. Dude, bro, for real? Ooh, you got that right. Yeah. Haru-chan. I'm so sorry about what happened to your father. Oh, no. Thank you for your concern. Well, if there's anything that's been troubling you, you know that I'm here for you with open arms. I appreciate you saying that, but I'm okay. I have good people managing my company, and I'm working hard to finish my degree. And while I'm grateful to be surrounded by such wonderful people, I still have to walk on my own two feet. Haru-chan. My, how you've grown. Aw. Mari-san, I'm not a little kid anymore. Oh, please forgive me. It seems my emotions got the better of me. Now then, are you here visiting with your friends? I hope you're all enjoying Sapporo to the fullest. God, her eyes seem so far apart, seriously. Rest assured, my staff is working hard to make Sapporo a beautiful and worthwhile destination for all. We shall all feast like gods every night! Don't just stare at the ground. Replace these hideous flowers at once. <gasps> I'm on it. Run, little man, run! Goodness. The moment I turn away, they all start slacking off. Ah, I'm sorry you had to see that. Now, as much as I'd like to keep chatting, there are preparations to be done. This election has kept me busy night and day. But do let me know if there's any way I can help you. My <sighs> crazy lady. Sorry to be so blunt, but she seems really two-faced. Mari-san, you used to be so kind to everyone. You think maybe she's not the monarch we're after? Nah, she's definitely got monarch all written all over her. I don't know. We just saw her go apeshit on that guy. Normal people don't get pissed over plants. Are you okay, Haru? Yes, I'm fine. Just a little surprised is all. Oh, and sorry I didn't get her keyword. I was preoccupied. Nothing to apologize for. We'll get it soon enough. Don't stress over it. Nothing to ap apologize for. Yeah, it's like we discussed. We'll hear it when she makes her speech. Makoto's right. Our chance will come. For today, Let's go around asking for rumors on Hyodo and make that our objective. Yes. I'd like to find out what changed her. Oh, wait, it's our time again. Hey! Mm -hmm. Looks like there's all kinds of people here. I mean, there's all kinds of rumors, too. What we want is any kind of info that points to Mariko Hyodo being a monarch. Let's go. Oh, God, that picture up there. Jesus Christ. Those dead circular eyes of hers. Looks like an owl or something. Well, all right, guys. I think this is probably a good place to end things here for now. I'll have to make sure to uh, stop by the uh, shops that were closed before. Uh, next time we start up. But uh, I hope you all enjoy this episode. If you did, please leave a like and a favorite. And subscribe if you're not already. Gumpy Penguin. Aboard the SLP. 
where the days are always sunny and the vids are always funny. And as always, guys, till next time, stay classy.